Did you wait until the very last minute to make personalized gifts for the people that you love? Girl, me too. That's why in this video, I'm bringing you three super simple last minute gift ideas that you can make using your Cricut machine. My name is Alex Vanover with DIY Alex, and I'm so glad that you're here. Over the years, the key that I've learned to making simple last minute gifts is to genuinely keep things very simple. So let me explain what I mean by that. The first thing you want to make sure you do is to keep things one color. That means one color of vinyl or one color of HTV. Don't mix it up with a bunch of layers that are going to be complex to layer on your final projects. The second thing that I've learned to make things super simple and easy is to also keep the designs easy to weed. You'll notice that in all of my designs, I don't have anything super intricate. On this glass cup, I chose super simple ornament shapes that are gonna weed super easily and I'm not gonna have to worry about them ripping and having to recut them. So with all of that in mind, let's get into these gift ideas. Our first last minute gift idea is the sublimation ornaments from Michaels. These are the Make Market, which is the Michaels brand of ornaments. And so you can get these at your local craft store and you can make them using some infusible ink if you don't have a sublimation printer. So to get started, I am gonna cut the ribbon off of this um, tree so that I can utilize the entire um, surface and make sure everything's even. Then I'm gonna clean it off using a lint roller on the side that I'm going to use my infusible ink. And when I cut my infusible ink, I wasn't really sure what design to cut out of it. So I just picked a box that's about the same size as the tree, which I actually didn't weed away in case I still need those pieces. And I added a silhouette of a buck here in the middle so that it has some element of design, but I didn't have to know exactly what size my ornament was in order to um, utilize this. So I'm going to put the infusible ink side down onto my tree and I'm going to kind of place it this way but I'm gonna flip it over to double check my placement on this side. This way I can make sure that my tree is nice and centered and that the antlers of the buck aren't pointing off or aren't coming off the side of my tree or anything like that. And once I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to take some heat resistant tape and I'm going to tape the infusible ink down on top of the ornament so that it doesn't move. Then because I have so much leftover infusible ink around the outside of my tree, I am gonna take my scissors and cut closely to the edges to remove any of the excess. Then once the excess is trimmed away, we are ready to apply this infusible ink. So next I'm gonna lay down some butcher paper that I got in my infusible ink package. And I'm gonna be putting some on the bottom because I know that some is going to bleed onto my pad as well as on the top of the ornament as well. In fact, I think I'm gonna fold the butcher paper on the bottom in half to make sure that I have nice thick coverage over my easy press pad. Then I'm gonna place my ornament on top of the butcher paper on top of my Cricut easy press mat. Make sure that you have a mat down um, if you're gonna be using your easy press so that you don't harm your table. Then I'm gonna take another piece of butcher paper and fold it in half and put it on the back of my tree as well to protect my easy press from getting any infusible ink on it. And I'm not gonna worry about taping down these sides because the Easy Press is going to push these nice and flat. So as long as it's semi-secure, that should be good enough. Then I'm gonna take my Cricut Easy Press and set it on top and press the button to begin applying my infusible ink. According to the Cricut Heat Guide, I needed 400 degrees for 240 seconds in order to apply my infusible ink to ceramic. Then once we're finished with the easy press, we can put it back in its cradle and we can use a heat glove to see how the tree turned out. Oh my gosh, you guys, it turned out so cute. I mean, just a second, I'll remove some of this tape so you can clearly see it. Check out how cute that turned out. My buck silhouette is a little bit off center here on this tree, but honestly, for not having any kind of SVG or template, I feel like it turned out really, really well. So all you would need to do to finish up this gift is to add a ribbon once it cools down and you're ready for a last minute gift idea. Thank you. 
last minute gift idea number two is gonna be a Libby Glass can with some vinyl around the outside. So to get started, I'm gonna take a paper towel and put some rubbing alcohol on it and wipe the glass down to make sure that it's free of dirt, fingerprints, and all of that good stuff. Then I'll set it aside for just a second to dry. Next, I'm gonna put it in my vinyl cup keeper to hold the cup still while I'm applying all of my vinyl ornaments. The key to keeping projects like this really simple is using really, really simple shapes. So I chose these ornament silhouettes because they were super, super easy to cut and weed. But I did decide to cut them out of some holographic vinyl. I chose the Starcraft Magic Deceit because it's really, really pretty and adds a lot of element of shine. So now instead of using transfer tape on my project, I'm literally just going to use a pair of tweezers and pick up the ornaments and place them around the glass. And don't worry, they'll still get plenty of pressure by me using my fingers over top of them. And that's all we have to do. So I'm going to try to use some different shaped ornaments and I want to make sure I don't put them too close together so that I can add lots of dimension to my project. When I'm placing my last shapes, I wanna be careful not to put them too close together. So I'm gonna take this nice wide shape and I'm gonna put it more in the middle of this um, area of the cup. That way I don't get any areas with any awkward gaps. So I'll place it right in the middle, maybe about here. and then I'll smooth it down with my fingers. Once you're finished applying the vinyl all the way around your glass, your cup is finished and it literally doesn't get any quicker or easier than that. My third and final last minute gift idea for you is a super easy DIY hat. Now I'm gonna do this using a Cricut hat because that's what I have, but you can go buy any blank hat. And honestly, as long as you go easy on the heat, it should be fine. You can also use your Cricut hat press if you have one, but if not, I'm willing to bet that many more of you have a Cricut Easy Press and that will work just as well. So to get started, I do recommend stuffing your hat with something. I'm gonna be using the little hat form that comes with the Cricut Hat Press, but if you needed to, you could use something like a bunch of kitchen towels or maybe even something like a bath towel to stuff your hat and make it a little bit more firm. And before I stick my HTB decal to my hat, I am going to lint roll away any other lint or anything that's gotten onto my hat just so it doesn't interfere with my HTV. Then I'm gonna stick my HTV decal onto my hat. I cut some olive Starcraft Softlex for this project, but you can use pretty much any kind of HTV that you have on hand, which is what's so great about this project. Now, since I am gonna be moving my Easy Press kind of back and forth over this decal, I am gonna secure my decal in place using some heat resistant tape. But if you don't have any of that, that's okay. Just do your best to be gentle with the Cricut Easy Press. Then once I have everything all stuck in place, I'm gonna start using my Cricut Easy Press, which is preheated to the second wave. And I'm gonna start by moving it back and forth, but I'm only gonna do a few seconds at a time. I know it's really tempting to really overheat this HTV to ensure that it's going to be stuck on, but as long as the person is not washing this hat, you honestly don't need to heat your HTV all that long to get it to stick long-term. Since it's not gonna be going through the washing machine, it's definitely not as big of a deal. So I don't like to hold it in place for more than about three seconds at a time. So I'm just gonna kind of roll it across the hat like this, and then we'll check it and see if the carrier sheet will come off. Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks perfect. When I look a little bit closer, I wanna make sure that it looks even across the fibers of the hat. Now, don't get me wrong, it does not have to be sunk into the fibers of the hat to prove that the HTV is stuck to the surface. That is not always true for every type of HTV. But if you can see fibers through one area of the HTV but not the other, you may wanna go back and add small bits of heat, which is what I'm going to do. For example, I can see the fibers over on this side of 
like the design, but I can't see them over here off of this G. So I'm gonna spend a little bit more time with the carrier sheet back over top the HTV, making sure that everything is well stuck. So now I'm just gonna concentrate on this area and kind of go like this. And once your HTV looks evenly stuck, then our final last minute gift idea is ready for giving. Which one of these gift ideas was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. If you learned something in this video, then don't forget to give it a like and make sure that you subscribe to DIY Alex for more Cricut crafts and sublimation tutorials a lot like these every single week. And if we're not already connected on social media, I would love to get to know you. So check out the links to all my social profiles down in the description below. All the hearts.